Hello and welcome to Retro Tech 100. Now, I thought I'd try a little experiment this weekend. My internet's crap, it keeps dropping off. I need to change internet service providers. But my daughter's internet is pretty good. And she lives about 100 feet from my house, line of sight. Now, I wondered if I could get away with using one of these to send the signal from her house to mine. It's a Netgear N300 wireless Wi-Fi range extender. Cost me £20. And I'm going to do an experiment to see if it will reach. Now, I don't know if it will work. It's only a little unit. It has got two aerials. And I do have an excellent line of sight to the house. So what do you get in the box? Let's have a look. Very small indeed. Here it is. It's got two aerials, an on off and WPS button on the side, and it's got some indicator lights at the front. It's a standard British plug. Get a quick start guide and some sort of warranty card, I'd say. So I ponied up for this one because it had Ethernet port on the bottom. I've seen others with more than one or two. I could have got it from Amazon. It's £15 on Amazon, but I got it from a local store. It was 21 quid. And I'm impatient, I want to see if this works now. So, let's see if it works. So my target for Wi-Fi reception is that house here. This one, right ahead of you. By Google Maps it's 131 feet, but by as a crow flies it's about 100 feet. So there's my house. And my target is dead ahead, right here. I'm going to see if this little guy can do the job. Let's go and set it up. I plugged the Wi-Fi repeater into an extension cord and put it near a window with line of sight to the target so I could pick up the best reception. Once you've plugged in the Wi-Fi repeater, you need to go and look on your wireless networks and click on the Netgear EXT. So you're connecting to the wireless repeater. Type in the address that's given to you in the quick start guide. It'll take you to the new extender setup. You just fill in uh, your email address and password you want for it. It picked up the Wi-Fi signal I was looking for, which is, remember, 100 feet away with over 70% signal. You put in the password. In my case, my daughter's password for her internet. And it asks you if you want to have a different password for your access point. But I just kept the same. And it says you're connected. So as you can see, I was getting about 7 megabits down on my PC downstairs. While the Wi-Fi repeater was upstairs in the window connected to my daughter's internet, which was 100 feet away. On my mobile phone, on the same floor as the repeater, I was getting about 9 megabits. It fluctuated a bit, but it gave me a solid internet connection. This is by no means a very fast internet. My daughter gets about 15 down and 1 up. So 15 megs at her home router to 9 megs by the time it gets to my phone isn't bad for over 100 feet away. This is not what this little Wi-Fi repeater is designed for, but I think it did a pretty good job. If you've got sketchy internet like me, it might be useful for you. You could share from a kindly neighbour that's got internet and lives in a house a bit further away than you might be able to pick up with your laptop or phone. I could have used an outside Wi-Fi antenna, but for me, having the router built into the little box is a big bonus. It lets everybody get on their mobiles and tablets. This has been RetroTech100. Please like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.